Hi, I've run into a little bit of problems with the chicken video. Uh, let me explain what the situation was. I raised pet ceramas uh, for the eggs, basically, and my flock had gotten totally out of hand. I found myself with eight hens and eight roosters. Now, if you know anything about raising chickens, you'll know that that is way too many roosters, and I needed to cut down to about two roosters. When I mentioned this to some friends here on YouTube, uh, they asked me, and I promised, to make a video showing the execution and the subsequent preparation of the chickens for the table. Seeing absolutely no reason not to, I mentioned my intentions toward the chickens to my family. Well, I guess I should not have been surprised I raised them, but it turns out that some members of my family who will remain nameless, well, one of them is P. Samp, who isn't nameless, uh, got kind of upset about the impending doom of the chickens. In fact, the, a couple of them got together and decided to have a Save the Roosters campaign, where they brought emotional pressure to bear on me and tried to find reasonable solutions. One thing that they did do was they started advertising like mad on Cheap Cycle, Craigslist, Free Cycle, uh, Personal Friends, anywhere they could think of to try to find homes to save the roosters. Actually, I was fine with this, uh, not wanting to have to kill any more roosters than was absolutely necessary, and I did not truly believe that they would find homes for all six roosters. But guess what? They did. That left me with no roosters available to kill for the promised video. Yes, I was really between a rock and a hard place. So not wanting to disappoint my friends, I went out on YouTube and the Internet, and guess what I found out? It's been done, and actually, it's been done better than I could do it myself. So a good part of this video is going to simply be a shout-out showing you places that you can get the information. The rest of the video will be me cutting up a store-bought chicken that has already been gutted and uh, cleaned, ready to be cut up into serving size pieces. The first shout out I want to give is to a YouTube user called Taylor Jarman. He has a wonderful video showing a humane and quick way to kill chickens. He shows everything from taking a live chicken from the coop to the dinner table. Be sure and watch that one. The next video I wanted to show you was by Jeff7069. I was really impressed with this. What it is is a bunch of women from a small village who have gotten together to make a wedding feast for a friend. They show how to dip the chicken in hot water and proceed to pluck it. I really like this because it shows that even this kind of a chore can be fun with friends. The last video shout out I want to give is for a video called Gutting a Chicken by Sofa. Uh, it shows what appears to be a nice American urban family cleaning and processing the chickens in their own backyard. In addition to some outstanding videos on YouTube, I found some nice articles on the Internet. A great article describing how to eviscerate or gut a chicken is found in the Urban Agrarian. Backwood Homes also has a very good article on how to butcher a chicken in 20 minutes or less, complete with detailed pictures. I will give links to all these resources in the description. At this point, I'm going to assume that you now have, from watching the resources I gave you, a nice, clean, well-plucked, ready-to-cut-up chicken. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove the legs and thighs. You do this by cutting through the skin and feeling where the joint is to the thigh. Slice toward the, th the joint and then bend it backward so that you separate the socket where that is holding the leg to the chicken. 
then you should be able to quickly slice through there and have the leg and thigh. Of course, the procedure is exactly the same for the other side to get the other leg and thigh. Now you will want to remove the uh, wings. I usually do this by holding the chicken, kind of dangling it up, finding where the joint is, and just slicing through the chicken there. You may have to turn it a little to break the joint. Cut right through the joint, and I like to do the little fold to make the little triangle shaped chicken wings. Remove the other wing the exact same way, of course. Next, you will want to separate the first half of the chicken back. You do this by simply slicing through to where the rib cage is and uh, breaking the backbone and slicing off the first half of the chicken back. To get the other half of the chicken back, turn the chicken on its side and slice right through where the rib bones attach to the chicken and it should come off fairly easily. Now turn the chicken over with the uh, neck opening facing away from you and feel for a little indentation in uh, sort of the center there. Make a cut and push your knife away from you. You're going under what is normally called the wishbone and this will make a very nice piece to eat so just separate it out. Now you're going to want to get that nice fleshy breast meat. Uh, there's two ways to do it. Some people want the uh, breast with the bones in. You cut alongside the breastbone and just tack it out and you will have your uh, piece of breast with the bone in. Turn the chicken around so that you're comfortable working with it. If you want a boneless chicken breast, just run the knife uh, on top of the bones and leave the bones still attached to the carcass. You will still have a small but fairly meaty piece of carcass left that you can put in your chicken soup pot. The rest will be in nice serving size pieces. If you want to separate the uh, thigh and the drumstick, the procedure is pretty much the same. Cut through the skin, pop the joint open, and cut through the spot where the joint was. Well, I apologize that it took me so long to get to it, but that's about all there is to cutting up uh, a chicken and as much information as I could get to you on how to actually slaughter and dress them before you need to cut them up. Uh, I hope it's been helpful. Yes, Sam made that mess.